else do we have Ooh, yeah did you did you um tune into uh tesla battery day that was a pretty fun and eventful evenings or afternoons worth of information um elon musk and co decided to do a battery day. i'm not sure if they do it all the time um but essentially they gave an update on battery production battery innovation that goes into the teslas um and loads of geeky good stuff about you know uh efficiency production uh, manufacturing new factories and all that good stuff but the absolutely key bit to come out of it was this amazing lineup of um vehicles that are due to come out in tesla well to the mass market in the future or sometime in the future and i have it here on the screen we have the cyber truck to our this closest to the screen we have the atv um we have the roadster and then we have um what's it called what do you call the big truck i forgot what the big truck is but maybe the tesla the tesla semi that's what the semi and the one thing that stuck out to me straight away was obviously i think since we've seen the cyber truck debut you know um they basically changed the finish of it i'm not sure if they've buffed it or if they've shy or this is how it's going to come production wise but you remember the when they present when elon presented it on the stage it was a little bit more matte it was a little bit more dulled of a finish, a little bit more of a rustic industrial sort of Rick Owens type, you know, feel towards it. But now they've really um, buffed up the panels and made it extremely, extremely shiny. And it looks incredible. It looks really, really nice. And the more I see this pickup truck, the more I think it's going to be probably one of the most, if not the most popular kind of um, what pickups that you're going to see all over the streets, especially in major metropolitan cities for a long, long time. There's literally nothing on the market that looks like it it looks so incredible especially when you start seeing people customize it with different sort of wraps or different paint finishes that would be really interesting too i'm not sure how easy it is to spray paint um stainless steel i'd imagine it is pretty easy to do whether you have to treat it whether not that kind of um damages it's uh what's it's kind of its properties because i guess part of the reason why they designed it in this way was that it was kind of all built out of one piece or kind of limited amount of pieces so you didn't need to have a huge production line or to assemble it so i don't know what will happen if you did decide to spray paint it but i love the finish i love 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 the finish and again the rims i wasn't really a fan of these little caps i can't i would kind of like them to be a bit more exposed but i'm starting to get um I'm starting to like that. I like the fact that the actual pickup bit on the back is sort of concealed. It's sort of like, yeah, it's kind of concealed from the side. If anything, if you look from it, you just assume it just the seats carried on there, but it's got a massive area for you to pick up on. The ATV, I'm really curious to see what would happen with that. So far, I think Elon mentioned they're only going to be available with the Cybertruck. I think it's an option that you can kind of add on, but they're not going to be sold separately. And part of the reason is because I think he's had a very bad experience with motorbikes. I'm not too sure if it's a member of his family that passed away from a motorcycle accident or something on those lines. But I really do think there's a really good opportunity for Tesla to make a really great motorbike, a scooter or something. I think that'll be very popular or even an e-bike or something of, the, of, of that ilk, I think would work really well. But, you know, maybe they have other longer bigger loftier goals on direct and then of course the roadster which looks tiny compared to the cyber truck i'm not sure sure if it's actually this small in general right or if it just looks if it's just dwarfed by the size of the cyber truck but it's so so small so so compact um it like it, 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 you know what is it zero to 60 seconds in 1.5 seconds or something stupid like that and then of course the tesla semi which is you know the the vehicle that has been long tesla semi is a similar to like ai right it's kind of been spoken in hushed terms as being the industry killer is going to take away jobs and all this sort of stuff and it's going to change the economy forever but it's pretty expensive for what it is i don't think a lot of companies are going to there's not a lot of no, there's actually some big companies that have put in some orders for the Tesla Semi. And let me not say that. I do remember seeing some very big companies um decide to put an order in, but I think by the time there won't be, I don't think you'll see a mass extinction of you know regular uh, semi trucks and stuff. They're still going to exist the gasoline options, but it'll be interesting to see other car manufacturers decide. Hey, maybe it might be a better option, especially if some of the if some of their contracts or some of their clients decide to jump over and change manufacturers and go to Tesla. It'll be interesting to see some of these um, car manufacturers react and say, Hey, you know what? We need to jump on board and make our own electric um, semi truck in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, that lineup is just gorgeous, man. Like, and really does 
and again it's just it's just funny and illuminating to see like you know whilst we're all you know again myself included whilst we're all arguing on twitter and debating about who slept with who and who tweeted what elon musk is over there essentially um carving out the future and providing us with a sustainable way to get from a to b right um essentially you know if you believe in um climate change this guy's doing more for climate change than either you or i right we're placing bloody milk cartons in a bloody bin somewhere in a certain hole thinking that we're doing the world justice and this guy is here creating and changing industries you know with these weird cars that he decides to manufacture like it's really really inspiring man but again that tesla semi is just beautiful it re i mean sorry this tesla cybertruck is just amazing to look at especially once it's been like shined up and buffed i can't wait to see that in person once it does you know um, hit production i think he mentioned actually in the in the um, presentation for the battery day that supposedly they have over half a million sales they've stopped counting now i think i think he last counted they were just over six hundred thousand. um what pre-orders right and i think the pre-orders was like what a hundred dollars or something right you put down to secure your um tesla i think they're going to start shipping next year or going to manufacturing next year so i end up shipping in 2022 if i'm not mistaken so there's still a long way for you us to for anybody to actually see one in irl but bloody hell man half a million just off the strength of a presentation um on stage you know mad to see man mad to see mad to see I would actually like to get one myself. I think the the one thing testers have done for me, they've kind of gave me a bit of a stretch moon, uh, a bit of a goal in terms of cars to get. I've never really been a big car dude, but you know, you can't not see a Cybertruck or a Tesla Model 3, Model S, or not think, you know what, it'll be amazing if my first car could be something like that, especially because they're automatic and they're electric. They'll be like, it'd be like driving a go-kart, do you know what I mean? It'll be bloody so much fun to drive. And whenever you see videos of people driving it for the first time, you know, that acceleration always kind of brings a smile to everyone's face. So that'd be a great thing, you know, imagine first whip is a bloody Tesla. That'd be amazing, man. Imagine that vibe, you know, but you never know. Watch this space, that might happen.